Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue our lesson about filters about the graphics in Revit but today it will be a bit crazy day because I will show you the uh, almost much things like we will use Dynamo after that we will use the adaptive uh, generic family and after that we will use the filters and both of them I mean the all of them we will use uh, to get uh, interesting graphic interesting uh, some uh, infographics or we will show uh, or highlight some of the part as you can see I have the object here but if I will go for example to to um, uh, new 3d view let's create uh, I will rename this view like one two four why not and I will create the new one now I don't want to save it right now let's go to 3d view and as you see this is here nothing here not any colors but if we will back to the one two four uh, there are the colors of this column how I did it I will show you how we will go to for example first we will go to the uh, visibility graphics and the filters I have here three filters each of them let's check it out each of them they have some rules for example here the mark if the len, uh, if this uh, column less than 1000 millimeters we will get this color if the second color uh, column have uh, greater than one meter or less than 2000 to 2500 millimeters that will be green color and the red color if it's greater than uh, 3500 millimeters so how i did that let's check it out all my columns as you know they have the uh, height you can see it uh, 2800 something millimeters actually this is uh, a real uh, height of the, my column and uh, my filters uh, just taking the numbers from the mark how I did that uh, I'm just using the dynamo you can see dynamo script one of them we will use few dynamo scripts today actually I can create only one dynamo script but I want to make it more clear so and I will show you today uh, how we can do this by parts so let's start if you're interesting about dynamo graphics and do the graphics like a pro in Revit and the first thing as always I will create a new project because I want to show you from the scratch how we can do that anyway I not will uh, create from the zero the my dynamo scripts I will share with you for free you able to download it below this video just go now there download it use it you can use it it not only for this project don't forget about that so uh, now we need to create the floor let's create the floor I just I just want to create the floor why not because I want to see the my columns so I have the floor and let's create the one more floor um, like this and like this okay and I will do this like minus uh, 100 millimeters from the first level you can follow me you can just watch it so I will try and make it fast and interesting so let's check it out so here this my uh geometry let's create it's more interesting because we want to see the changes uh, i will cast the some shadows i don't have here the shadows why how come anyway let's make like this so i can see everything now i have the one floor i have the second floor and doesn't matter uh, we need now load uh, or create the new family let's create it because as I said, I want to uh, do with you guys everything from the scratch. So we need the metric generic adaptive point. Here the metric generic adaptive point. Let's create them. them. My PC a bit slowly. So if you want to help me, just go to the, my Patreon or Gumroad. <laughs> okay, so uh, after that, what we're going to do, we will uh, just use the um, point. Here is my point. I will select this point L, and I will do its adaptive. You just shoot the, you shoot the select first and after that make it adaptive. Now I will use command align and let's align it to the uh, physical center of our project. Uh, now I will uh, use for example this rectangular let's do some rectangular now I will use dimension 
like this and let's make it equal and dimension here and let's make it equal to and uh, if you want you can parameterize your uh, future column if don't don't do that uh, it's only up to you i know it will do i will leave as it is uh, but we will check the size of this column because I don't want to make it so huge one. Let's check it first. I will use again command di to check it. So it's 500 by what? By 900. Let's make it more smaller. Mm, something like around, around that one. Because it doesn't matter about the sizes. So 400 by 400. It's awesome. So let's select them and let's create the form. Now I need, uh, I really need this parameter. Just click here to make this temporary dimension permanent and we have the dimension. And let's parameterize this part dimension like H. So this means height. And let's make it instance. Let's say OK. Finally, we get our, um, our family. Let's load it inside to the project because this is my new project. Uh, it's called project number two. Let's load it there. Just wait a few seconds. I think your PC will be working more faster. And here is my family by point. Let's place it somewhere and let's go to 3D. Let's find the right 3D uh, here. So this is my object. So what I want to do, I want to make it around this uh, this uh, floor, this, uh, this object. It doesn't matter. It can be a column, it can be any family, what you want. So I'm just using the column. Okay, so what the next? Next we should use Dynamo. Let's go to Dynamo. Just go to the manage, find your Dynamo. As you can see, this is now a gray one because my Dynamo is already on. This is my Dynamo right here. So first I need to download my first script. Uh, you, again, you can download the scripts below this video. Just go there and get, get it from there. So uh, Dynamo is not pointing. Okay, I will close it. No worries. I will open it again because uh, uh, sometimes Dynamo has the problem. Uh, when you switch the project, Dynamo cannot switch the project. You should close and open it again. So uh, what I'm going to do, I already have the script Adaptive Array. Find it below this video. Uh, let's go inside Adaptive Array and I will show you what this uh, uh, script can do. Actually, Nothing special, just a few seconds, give me a few seconds. Okay, here is my uh, script. This part you don't need, I will delete it. Uh, here the, we have the uh, ages, here we have the our family. So let's first choose our family. Our family, this is one, family number two. Or you can change the name and just find here the name of your object. So here object already have, now we should choose our ages. Why I have the two curve ages? Because uh, in Revit, when you will uh, try to select ages, you can see uh, it will be automatically divide curve by two arcs. You can see it right now, right? So I need first select one curve and after that I will select the other curve. In Revit, let's, I will do like this because I want to show you what we will get like this. Let's run it, just a few seconds, first time it's long time. Okay, here we are. And you can see here under our script, the geometry. Now we have the cycle. So what I'm doing, I'm getting the one part of the uh, curve and the second part of the curve. And after that, I just dividing it, dividing it I mean join it in one uh, cycle and now I'm dividing this cycle by the 20 parts. So 20 blocks or 20 families. You can change this number to whatever you want. After that, I'm taking the points and I'm placing here, I'm placing uh, to the, these points my family. That's it. A really simple uh, script. Let's run it and you will get, uh, you will see now all my families now around these points. So awesome. Let's close it up. This uh, script, I don't need it now, right now. Let's open the other one. Uh, as you remember, uh, like three videos or four videos uh, before I did the, uh, which one? Add array. Yes, I did the array. 
So what we will do, this is really interesting thing. Let's say I will show you. We will choose the uh, view from the top. So uh, the plan view, level one, you can change to level two. And I will change here the curtain panels to the, uh, how it's called, uh, generic model. Because this is model, it's generic model, as you remember. So let's find it, generic model. Oh, as I said, my PC a bit slowly. Sorry guys, generic model, generic model. Aha, uh -huh, here my generic model. And as you remember, the name of the my height, it's called H. So the parameter H, right? And let's make the uh, high top, high top of the our column like five meter. Five meter here. And let's accept changes. I will do like this. And you will see the magic now. Really cool, right? I like it, really. So we get all those points. It's really cool, pretty, f I think it's really nice. So now I want to use the uh, filters uh, to make, for example, the from the uh, three meter to the five meter, the red one, uh, from three meter to the two meter, the green one, and on and on. So how I can do that? If I will select my object, I can see the height of the, my object by H dimension. But if I will go to the visibility graphics and straight away I will go to the filters, let's create a new filter. And here is my filter and let's say this is one, Meet one meter to uh, three meter, let's say, three meter. Okay, so here we are, and we will find the generic model, it's here. Uh, let's f uh, try to find the parameter. As you can see, I don't have here the parameter H. So what I can do, but I have here the parameter mark, I have here the parameter comments. Let's use this thing. So let's say, okay, we will uh, later, uh, we'll back, we will change this. And let's go back again to the Dynama. Uh, let's open the Dynama. As you can see, Dynama is so powerful, right? Uh, and I will find the instance to mark. So this also the so simple uh, script. Uh, as I said, I know I, I didn't divide the script. Uh, I, I didn't uh, combine, I mean, uh, this all script because all of them, it's so simple. Or, and if I will divide it, oh, sorry, if I will uh, combine in one, it will be a bit complicated to understand what's going on. But now you can, you can easily understand. So uh, as you can see here, the, I'm taking the family. Let's taking the family, the family too. Uh, I'm just tra uh, transferring to instance. After that, I'm getting the parameter age. You can see age. Now I'm flatter. I'm doing the flat, uh, the my numbers, uh, the height to the string. And here I'm uh, just replacing string to the mark. That's it. Let's run it and you will see. This is really fast. Here the height of all my columns. And here where will be my height. Let's choose the one and you can see now it's duplicating to here. Really cool, right? Now let's back to the filters because now we can possible be possible use to the fil our filters. I already have the one to three meter. Let's make like uh, the rules, new rules. We will use the mark and we will say is uh, greater than 1000. And let's add the rules, but the mark where is my mark less than 3000. Let's say okay. Let's add this rule. And let's change the pattern as I said to some color. For example, red one. Okay, okay, okay. Ta-da! Really cool. Let's go back. This is not enough. We want the more graphics, right? You want to show you to your lecture some uh, pretty nice graphic. Why not? So uh, let's say from the three meter, sorry, this is PC, to the five meter. No, even let's make to the four meter. Let's say okay, and here we will change from the three meter to the five, uh, four meter. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and let's create the last one. Just I will duplicate that. I'll change the name from the five meter to above. So uh, here I will be from the, oh, 
actually it's from the let's make from the five meter why not from the five meter and we will delete delete this uh, rule let's say okay let's add the rules so this rule and this rule let's change the patterns because we want to see our changed for example here it will be like this and the last one will be green one uh, okay and solid one okay so as you can see this is not changed because it's from four meter to the five meter why why our script not working i mean the our filter let's check it out it's going from the four meter but here as you can see from the five meter this is right because our topest uh, to, uh, highest one uh the column is five meter so let's make it from the four meter Let's say okay, okay, and you can see this is really cool. So, guys, I think it's a, it was a bit complicated. The next uh, class, the next video will be more complicated, and we will more integrate our dynamo and filters in our graphic. I think it's, it will be very helpful for you. If it's really helpful for you, please leave the comment and just put some uh, thumbs up, and that's it. So, the next lesson will be in a few days. Thank you guys for watching again and see you next time. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.